Hi, I'm Abby from You Baby Me Mummy and this is Blog Fix Friday. Blog Fix Friday is where I share a quick tip or trick that will improve your blogging life. Now today I'm in a Christmas jumper because I'm doing Vlogmas and this is about as Christmassy as you can make blogging tips but I thought I'd get involved and I wanted to share with you today why I think and why everyone should really have a blogging or business best friend. So a BFF for your blog. How can that benefit you? Well we all know whether we're working full time and blogging part of the time or whether we're trying to we haven't got another job and we're trying to make blogging our business or whether we're doing a mix of both that it can be tough. It, there's long hours, there's always something that you need to do and that never goes away. I am over three years in, I am a full-time blogger and there's always stuff on my list that I can never get around to so take heart in the fact that you're not alone but it can be tough and it's a voyage of discovery so we're always learning something and normally those learnings turn into the fact that we need to do something else so then the to-do list expands and we can get even more overwhelmed. Um, I think blogging BFFs are vital and they've been so important to the success of my blog and how I feel about my blog. They, they have your back, they share your work, they are a sounding board and we'll discuss some of these um, benefits now really. So, But they are the most valuable thing I think in my blogging life. So they share your work. Now that seems quite a mercenary thing to put first but there's nothing actually better than someone sharing your work because they love it, not because they feel a sense of duty or whatever. And your best friends are not going to stroke your ego. They're gonna share the stuff they love. And that's brilliant. So I've had so many instances where my blogging stuff or my other posts have been shared by people that I would consider to be my blogging besties. And that's amazing really. It's And you also then, obviously you reach their customers, you reach their readers and it's an organic thing but it's a wonderful thing and um, another reason is that they this sounds quite mushy but they love and support you and it's really really important we put ourselves on the line every day on our blogs and we open ourselves up really and it's nice that people do love and support you and you can make these wonderful wonderful friendships through your blog but they can be so important to you I think also blogging BFFs can help you grow and help and they can inspire you there's nothing like somebody maybe they've got an idea and it doesn't fit for their blog but it they think it'd be brilliant for yours and that's a lovely thing for a friend to do but they can they can give you the idea they can inspire you to think outside the box or think of something that maybe you wouldn't have done before um, obviously you can get inspiration from other sources but to have a really good friend that you can um, use as a sounding board and that can inspire you by what they're doing maybe they're doing something in a slightly different niche and it gives you an idea of something you could do in your niche and you can talk about how it's worked for them and how it could work for you it, it's just brilliant I think also they will tell you if your idea is rubbish so if you've got a good enough strong enough friendship and you say look I've got this idea for this if they're not down with it they're gonna tell you because they don't want you to fail so that's a brilliant sounding board that they will tell you yeah you shouldn't really do that it's not a good idea and um, also I think they'll kick you in the bum when you need it so there can be a motivation if you've got in a bit of a slump and you're feeling a little bit sorry for yourself then they will be the ones that can really say come on look at what you've done this is what you need to do let's go on with it and I can be on the phone for five minutes with one of my blogging besties and then I'm sorted then I'm fine for the day so I think it's really important um, from that respect and they just get it don't they I think when you're trying to I talk to my husband sometimes about blogging and he he doesn't get it bless him and why should he you know it's not his thing he's you know he goes on the internet to do what he has to do but it's not his life in the way that it's my life so having someone that just gets it that you can talk about 
boosting a post on Facebook or doing a challenge or improving your email and the people will just get it is probably the most important thing I think out of all the things I've mentioned so far because you need people in your life that get it and just finally I think that two heads are better than one aren't they so you can brainstorm with them get ideas goes back to the inspiration thing before and that's all super super valuable so you might be thinking how do I find my blogging bestie and there are there's no right or wrong way I found different people through different ways um, Facebook groups can be really good I've just found my uh, virtual assistant through a Facebook group so there's lots there's there's too many I'm in too many but there are masses and masses of Facebook groups where people would love an accountability buddy or a blogging best friend or a business best friend I'm sure so you can find them through your own blog um, I've told the story of Amy and myself a lot a, a lot of time but Amy would be one of my blogging besties and she uh, commented on my blog a lot and we started um, I started noticing that so that's a way that we made a friendship um, Kerry would be probably my most business savvy, business focused uh, blogging bestie. Kerry from uh, This Mama Sells. And I met her because I pay for her coaching service. And we just now talk all the time and we're really uh, close friends. And that sort of came from initially a paid relationship, but now it's just a, a sort of mutual friendship. So that's another way. And then I think when you've when you've done that you can make friends on all social media it doesn't just have to be Facebook groups when you've done that you can then keep in contact with those people through the way I do is FaceTime a lot with Kerry uh, we're on messenger with Kerry, Kate and Amy pretty much all the time um, and email or just the good old-fashioned telephone so I think quite often when we're busy we just FaceTime and it's just on or, or we'd have a Skype that's another way of doing it so there's loads of re uh, loads of ways to find your BFF and to keep a nice strong relationship going but there are so many benefits to actually having one it's unreal so I hope that's helped and I hope that you'll be inspired now to find your blogging or business bestie and I'd love to know actually how you get on so leave me a comment that would be great and I'll be back soon with more blog fix Friday bye